What is up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to another episode of D4. I believe we're in episode 4 now. Um, D4 episode 4. Hmm. <laughs> um, anyways, we, where we left off, we met a bunch of weird people, had weird interactions, and now we're sort of just investigating further. I don't really know what to think. What is this? Emergency door. It's outdated. Squeaks when shaken. Source of the noise. This is not acceptable. This is... No, I will not. I can't take any more of this. You've Every heard it before. You know. undergoes Just... more than 100 rigorous checks before... What? The... Are you saying these window noises are all in my head? Are you dumb buck? I Chill thought out. you were a nice gentleman. Madam, you think I I'm just some you, complainer, some of the... lawsuit seeker? Do you? This is completely unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. Show me your name tag. Show it to me. Employee number D-3582. It was right in front of her. He didn't have I to show her anything. My brain. Once I'm home, yes, I am going to sue you. I have never been so mad in my life. <laughs> I Again with that thing. I'm just practicing what I preach. As you I wish, madam. That. However, perhaps if we Is change there your any seat way field, I can talk to your manager? I'm sure the sound I've of windows would not annoy you in say and every business class. Hmm? The seats I've... are very fluffy too. Business? That's a uh, class. It is, madam. I could show you to your seat. One where I can't hear the windows. No creaking. nasty window noises in this. <laughs> oh, so, I... If you'll just allow me to explain the procedure for your upgrade. I suppose that could be okay. <laughs> what the fuck? That actually scared the shit out of me. He's tall, too. What the fuck? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> Is he... Is that two scalpels? That he's doing the thing? In the instant I saw that big man, the scar on my forehead started to throb. It's never happened before. What's going on here? Probably fix that bloody nose. Oh. The Metro M. That's the subway in DC. Boston MBTA uses a T symbol, so this ticket was used in DC. Why? Why are you doing these things? I need food, I think. I think my Levels are getting low. I want to keep. Yeah, see, I'm at about half. Please don't just throw it in here. Gotham looks out of place. Is there really like no. Ooh. Calorie biscuit. Cheese flavor. I love cheese. Ripped into parts. So this is economy class, I guess. Smelly table smells of ink. Magic marker. Graffiti. There's nothing here. Weird. Yet it has a smell to it. Oh, what is this? Sports magazine, sports comparison, lots of ads, waste of time. <laughs> Basically every magazine ever. <laughs> Scrapbook? What? 
We have a scrapbook. Oh my. I'm not going to be reading that. That's... Disaster for the Stanley Cup part... The part two. We meant the... Part two. Where's part one? And I'm not going to be reading a bunch of hockey. Screw that shit. Um... Can I leave? Back? Yeah. Vision. Talk to the mysterious giant. He, oh, he's a giant now. He's not just a tall man. He's a giant. His head is like touching the ceiling. Can I look around first? That's one fashionable bear. It's not bad for a gift from Washington, D.C. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Lever is broken. Forced open, rough guy. All appearance. There's nothing here. That has a longer table. Hold on, hold on, Jesus. Oh, I can turn around. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Gotta run through this stuff again. Avant guard? No. <laughs> Oh, okay. Avant-garde? No. Avant-garde? <laughs> oh, man. I hate that. The whole aircraft is shaking! Relax. Extra cases, Avant-garde. Antenna's up here about your mannequin. Let's talk about the debt thing. So, this is the era of Avant-garde? Hmm. That's not quite right. It is... Avant-garde! That difference is everything. You have to embrace it. I don't know. Uh, okay. I have to say, and stop me if you've heard this before, your choice in fashion is terrible. An affront to art itself. I never thought I'd meet a man who can walk around happily dressed like that. Well, some people don't care what they hey, look like, so... It isn't that bad, right? Oh, please. It's that bad. Looks like you don't even have the right clothes to go shopping for clothes. No, go ahead. Tell me how you really feel. I thought it was only uh, girls that did that. I can't open my heart to those with no understanding of art. After all, spending unproductive time sullies my brain. Mm. Damages my creativity. I don't have a leg to stand on with this guy, but I also can't just pass him over. Not with a name that starts with a D. Mm. You know, I'll give you a chance, though. Prove you can get with the dress code, and we may be able to chat. Just one item. Wear one single item that's cutting edge, and come see me again. Oh, my God! This sounds like a real drag. I wonder if there's anything tucked away in my closet that might help. <laughs> what was it? Is that all he keeps doing? Just the hand thing and then he went like this for some reason? Pausing the game and uh, what? I don't understand. Set here. Fashion magazine. Uh, read a lot. Oh my, he's there. Do I need to read about this? Designer interview. Cutting edge and individual. <coughs> my 
micro individualistic designers Duncan and Suki. Today we are talking with designer Duncan, a man who certainly possesses a very unique vision with a passion for retro and military fashion. According to Duncan, the trend for this summer is retro and military. Of course, some might not be thinking that retro means dated and that military has nothing to do with fashion. Duncan challenges such people to take this opportunity to try retro and military. The key fashion item that he currently recommends is a mesh tank top. As it is so easy to match with or add your own accent to, it's perfect for people with no confidence in their fashion. I hope you'll all have retro military a chance. I hope you'll all give retro and military a chance this summer. Alrighty then. Oh wait. Dirty table, oily and sticky. Eating snacks. I don't think we're going to find anything else in those tables. There's nothing here. Hmm. What evil might I find here? He doesn't even react really. Is that? I think he has a fork and a knife. What? This guy's weird. What are you doing here? <laughs> this big fella. I've met him before somewhere. I can't remember where. laugh. And the music. My scar is desperately trying to tell me that he knows something. Okay. Is that what he said? 
Sky like that. There's the pen. The memento thingy. It's sounding a lot like a, a soap opera now. This music. Olivia? And he vanishes. She's back. Or wait, are we in business class? He vanished? Now what? Finally oh. Finally evidence. Eight pieces eight pieces. Oh my god. Vision. 
Wow, it tells you right where it is. I didn't even know that. Push. Alright. Anyways, guys. Uh, I'm gonna end this episode off here. That was a lot that went on there. Um, it was a major fight scene. And then... Now we have to find evidence. And... I see up there it says A, B, C, and there's like different puzzle pieces to each one. Anyways, uh, I'm going to do that in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, as it does help me a lot. If you like the music you're currently listening to, click the top left box. If you'd like to see more videos of mine, click the top right box. Check out my friends on the bottom left, and click the bottom right to subscribe and join the Clouder today. It's like Chowder, but with cats. <laughs>